I keep trying to figure out why my Roomba hates me, but I think I finally figured it out. I found a little tip on Google. Some place inside the Roomba I didn't even know it was possible to clean. I tore this thing down because of an issue it has. It says, Air 2, clean out the debris extractors every two to three minutes. Never fails. Bet I can get it to do, do it for you here. Even though there's no debris. There it is. Perfect timing. But Error two. Hmm. Debris extractors. Then press clean. Strange. I don't see any debris. Let's take a look. Pull that up. Let's see. Pull that brush out. That brush out. No, a little dirty, but no debris in there. Hmm. So, I had cleaned out this entire area. It was perfectly clean. I cleaned out the wheels. I removed this cover. I cleaned underneath there. I took the dustbin out. I cleaned it out. Um, wiped it down with alcohol, everything. Took this off, cleaned underneath there. Took the wheel out, cleaned under there. Nothing was working. But, even after cleaning here and here, that's still not enough. So, if you take off these little yellow caps, there's a little bearing in there. Let's see if I can get this off. Come on. There it is. Oh, gross. Look at that. That nasty, just completely disgusting ball of hair that keeps spooling off of here. Ugh. Look at that. It's now clean underneath it and inside of there. Though there is still some hair packed into here. Let me get some tweezers. Okay, I've got my tweezers. And I'm just gonna pull it off of there. That is like 90% of what was on there removed. So that is closer to what it should look like. I had no idea these came off. But when I put it back on, you'll notice that actually free spins. And that is how it's supposed to be. Let me get the next one. And you can kind of see there is some hair already showing. Just 
just kind of twisting and pulling here. Oh man, there we go. Oh, the nightmares of long hair. Oh man, disgusting. I think that is most of it. I got this from somebody who no longer wanted it because it was throwing this air. Oops. And I think I just found the resolution. Just keeps coming. Wow, all the way up in there. I don't think I need to really go any further. I mean, that's not going to get in the way of the bearing, but. Now that that area is clean, if I pop that back on, it's still a little bit tight. I think I see a little bit stuck in here. What I would recommend is giving this a little bit of lube right in here which is where I assume the bearing is there we go that's a little better there it is all right that not supposed to be there obviously match up the square with the square set it down in there wow was not rolling like that before match up the hexagon with the hexagon Amazing. Completely smooth. Pop that in. And I think we're good to go. So it has been about, let's see, seven minutes, and it is still running like a champ. No issues, no errors, and I noticed the uh, path navigation is a lot different. It's now going back and forth over areas, and the carpet you can see, all the tracks. Um, 
it just it's it's much different it doesn't even seem like it's the same vacuum anymore honestly very impressed um, is picking up things that it wouldn't even think about before like literally it just picked up a screw I saw wouldn't do that before at all so definitely if your Roomba is having issues make sure those brushes are clean Alright, well, that's about it, so uh, if you have any questions, let me know, um, but I think that covers it all, so if you like the video, give it a like, uh, yeah.